Solve the equation p squared minus 16 p plus 64 equals 2. Now since this is a quadratic, we'll try to factor it when it's in the right form, but if that doesn't work, then we'll go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So the first step then is to subtract 2 from both sides so that we have 0 on the right hand side, giving us p squared minus 16 p plus 62 equals 0. And since there are no factors of 62 that will add or subtract to be negative 16, I'll go ahead and just start the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula says p equals the opposite of whatever b is, b is negative 16, plus or minus the square root of whatever b is squared, b is negative 16, minus 4 times a times c. So looking back, a is really 1 and c is 62 and this is all divided by twice a and a is 1. So now we need to simplify giving us p is, this becomes 16 plus or minus, squaring negative 16 gives us a positive 256 this is a negative times a positive times a positive, so this will give me a negative, and 4 times 62 is 248. This is all being divided by 2. So simplifying again, we have 16 plus or minus the square root of 256 minus 248, which is 8, all being divided by 2. Now I can simplify 8 as a square root because it's 4 times 2, and 4 is a perfect square root. So this will give us 16 plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2, leaving us with this other 2 inside, all divided by 2, and now since they all have a 2 in common, I can divide out that 2, leaving me an 8 plus or minus square root of 2, and it would be over 1. So I'll just write it this way. So our final solution then is p is either 8 plus radical 2 or p is 8 minus radical 2.